Hey guys, all right, I'm starting this video over. We are using Caribbean Sky, Maple Yellow, and Rose Quartz Ink. Um, we're using the MFT um, Cloudy, what's it say on here? Mini Clouds, Mini Cloud Edges. Um, what do you call it? Stencil. So we're making another B card, right? Um, and we're just trying to get some color on here. You, you want to wipe it off each time um, because, you know, if you mix blue and yellow, you're going to probably get green. So, take it from experience and wipe that off um, each time. It can just be a little paper towel or something. You know, it doesn't have to be anything super major. I'm just going to keep turning it a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me pull you over here a little bit. Um, okay, so pink next. Mm, scoot on down a little bit. There we go. Anyway, um, so we're using the set called, what is it? Hi, honey, and birds and the bees from Honey Bee. Yeah, I think it will make an adorable little card, hopefully. In my mind, it does. I've been die cutting, which is getting on my nerves. I don't like to die cut. I mean, I do. I like the end result. I just don't like to actually do it, you know. Um, I wish I could do... Let's put that back there. And just do just a little bit more. We're just going to bring that pink up a little bit more. So there's not so much white in between. Just want a little bit more pink because I think I've... Kind of run out of room where I'm not going to get to put the pink um, back on there as much. So now back to the blue. I might get to squeeze a little bit of it in there. We'll see. We will see. I like this little lace edge thing. Um, lace edge dye. I was a little nervous because I thought. Um, it might be too uh, too small to fit the tree and stuff that I want to fit on there. Have to do next yellow. Okay. So what have you guys been doing today? Has anybody seen the um, the new like electric car like charging stations and stuff in your cities? If you live in a city, I was in a city the other day and I was like oh my gosh I even took a picture of the thing because it was the first one I've actually um seen in person I think electric cars you know aren't actually going to be the wave of the future but uh so I'm just going to well I just want to do the rest of it pink but what do y'all think I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very much. We'll just do these little whatever's down here pink. That'll be enough. I think. Anyway, I was freaked out to see the electric car thing. Can't believe it. The future is coming. I still want a CD player in my next car purchase. Y'all know I'm sort of partly looking for a car. I don't really want to, but I guess I have to. Um, but yeah. Um, and they, those don't exist anymore. So, oh well. Anyway, okay. So, and he, let me show you the sets while I'm at it. There was this set and this set. And I've already stamped and die cut a bunch of stuff because it is like, whew, taking forever um so i didn't want to make you sit through all that so in my mind it's gonna work like this wow wow <laughs> okay gonna cut a little of that tree off i guess hmm maybe i'm not gonna get the birdhouse on there there's this cute little birdhouse so there's this the beehive and then the birdhouse so the beehive can go cut two. Um, the beehive can go there. And I wanted the birdhouse 
Is that too, maybe if I did it up higher, what do y'all think? Or maybe over here? Hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So let's go ahead and color them though. Um, color them up a little bit. We had a kind of like a school carnival thing today. I say we, we were not there. Um, <laughs> I was not there. Uh, normally I'm all gung ho on, you know, the back to school, whatever. Not really exactly. I mean, but I do it. <laughs> uh, I'm there, you know, but, uh, um, so they are quite used to me doing just everything, whatever they're doing, you know, I'm, I'm a part of it. But um, with COVID, I have decided that I'm not going to go over there because no masks were involved. They were out on the football field in their defense, I guess. But um, there's a town festival today and tomorrow. And um, so, yeah, I just, there's a lot of people out and about. And I just think that that could be a bad idea. The, t the numbers for COVID are really popping in my town, and um, I just don't know. don't know. All right, we're just going to flick a little of this color here on each of the leaves, and then we'll cover it with something lighter, I think. Um, but anyway, so there's this little carnival thing. Of course, my boss is already calling me. It doesn't matter anyway, but um, he knows I'm not coming. <laughs> And, uh, um, he understands why, I guess, but, um, he's like, you can wear a mask if you want to. I'm like, it doesn't matter if everybody else is not doing it. But, uh, I really, really, really hope they require masks for us at school. They haven't made an official decision yet. They think they're going to, at least while the children are in the building, but that's not official yet. And then... I guess it was, if it was like just us or something, I don't know how that's going to work, but whatever. Um, I'm not going to stress and worry about it right now. I've got a little bit longer <laughs> before I have to stress too much about that. I just want to enjoy the rest of my summer and what little bits left and all that good stuff. So, but anyway, um, so from what I hear, it went well, but like I said, I was... The boss was calling about enrolling and things like that. And some questions he had for some new students right then. So, but I don't have to go back yet. So, I mean, I told him what he needed to know, of course. But, um, it will be there waiting. And whatever he messes up, I will fix. <laughs> so, there's always that. Um told him to try to write everybody's name down that he adds or anything because oh goodness it's just just easier that way let me tell you all right I need hmm kind of need a brighter yellow than what I've got but it is honey so I wanted to match that and I think it's gonna be a little bit darker but I guess that's okay yeah I'm just gonna do it all this color I think um but anyway, I don't know why they have the back-to-school stuff so early. We used to just have it, like, a couple days ahead of time, which I was fine with. But this just seems so early, and I don't know, because we still have at least, a, let's see, a week, and I can't remember now. But it's close to two weeks, I guess. Maybe, right? No, not quite. I don't know. Um, definitely one full week, I know. I'm not sure about the other part. We go back on a Wednesday. I do know that. But, yeah. Um, so, what did I use that one? Let's go over it a little. With this. Just around the edges, maybe. A little bit darker of a shadow. Hmm. Eh, not really 
think that did anything, but whatever. We'll just color that in. That's where the bees live. Okay, so we're gonna do pink. Got a few pinks here. Quite a few pinks, actually. <laughs> All right, we'll do this as the darker one. Oh, it's pretty bright. Might have to go over that. I'm not sure I'm looking for a neon. Yeah, not, not sure about that. Well, I'll tell you what, let me color that the same color so that, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this was the color I was going, yeah, this will work for the, for the outside. I'll take that neon away. Not that I'm opposed to neon, I like neon, but not quite that much. Okay, what kind of vitamins do y'all take? Looking at those new, um, is it Goli or G-O-L-I, however you say it, I don't know. But, um, we will see. I've got to pick up some, some new ones, just, you know, and I, I still take, like, my vitamin C, my vitamin D, and, um, well, I like that Sam B. Call stuff, I take that. Um, so I quit taking just the vitamin C by itself and I take that, but, um, I'm going to keep, except I went out of the lines there a little bit, pretty much just going to keep that, um, the white outline of things, I think. All right. So up here I have, um, let me grab them. I have some little leaves. And a few little flowers. So, I have an apple, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that. So, let's do a darker leaf all the way for these. With that shadow, whatever, behind it, I think. Anyway, so I do need to add some more vitamins to my stockpile. I want like at least, you know, a year's worth. Okay, I have these, um, these little flowers. <laughs> now I need, ugh, I need room for the sentiment. So that tree is going to have to come up a little bit. Or maybe it won't. Maybe I'll just... I don't know. Maybe I won't stamp it there. I don't even know. So it's kind of the same color as that. But I guess it's okay. Wouldn't hurt it to be a little brighter. But... I do not have that one over here. So these will be fine. We can put some glitter or something on them. It'll be all right. All right. Um, and a bird. What's I going to do a bird? I've got a little bird and then like a little bit bigger bird. But I'm... Hmm, let's do a nice little blue for the bird. Like a sky blue. Almost against the sky. Maybe we can give it a darker wing or something. Bam, there we go. Bam, bam, bam. Who's, who's that That chef that used to be, was it QVC or HS? Somebody used to have the chef that was like, bam, yeah, bam. Everything you put in the thing. Is that Emerald or I don't know, somebody. Okay, so I'm just going to take all this off. I'm going to glue this down first. Or tape it down, rather. And we'll see. I need to get some more magnets. These little magnets. There was like a thousand little magnets. There's like, so like there was like maybe three, four bees or something in the, uh, 
whatever, and there are like three or four magnets to cut them out. They're just so tiny. Like everything is tiny except pretty much the tree. And I still can't figure out. There's two honeycombs, which is strange. I don't know if one's like a layer or what. So, don't even know what that one's for, but can't, can't figure that out just yet. I'll maybe look on their website or something and check it out. But anyway, so has anybody ever tried the Lowe's magnets? Like from the home section they talk about um, for your vents or something. I need to order some because um, my little dies are everywhere. And I, I'll just put them like in a, you know, one of those clear envelope things I have. And then, um, oh, 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 I need to stamp on this first. Well, too late now. Unless I put all that tape back on, I'm not doing that. So, maybe it just won't have any stamping on the front. We'll see. Okay, I'm just going to cut that edge with that. So, I'll just chop it a little bit. Trimming the tree. We are trimming the tree. If only it was that easy in our yard. Well, the, the hive can be over here. It doesn't have to be like right down there. Maybe I could stamp something right there. What do you think? I say yes. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's commit. One of my fears in life, probably. Uh, thinner, thinner, thinner. Maybe this one. I don't want to glue it because I feel like it'll warp it or something. Sometimes glue is a little bit much when I something like this. Okay. So, where can I put that? Let's put it right there. And a piece right there. That's going to have to come in. <laughs> Did I tell y'all I got money back from um, AliExpress the other day? So, <laughs> my, my videos are uploading. I have faster whatever service on that. And I got money back from AliExpress. It's been been a good uh, good few days <laughs> I have to say so ugh, please stick not to my finger that's what I meant <laughs> um yeah my the AliExpress thing uh, if I've told you just ignore this but the AliExpress well one of the companies you know there's like five bazillion little stores on there I'm sure it's probably all one big thing under a million names but whatever. Um, so, uh, yeah, right there, it's showing. Oh, fixed it. Okay. Um, okay. I like that. It's fine. Um, so it was about $60 worth of stamps, and I was really bummed because the company canceled the order. It looked like it shipped, but it never made it out of their country. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it didn't like clear their customs thing or I don't know. But um, so then I got a notification that it was canceled. And so there's like a little something you file on there. I can't remember what it's called, um, but you can click it. And I honestly didn't expect anything from it. Just, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm a pessimist. I don't know. Um, but I didn't expect to really see any resolving of any kind of whatever. Um, because I didn't with my other orders, and they've canceled some before, but they've only been, you know, three or four bucks or something. So it wasn't as much of a loss. Um, and I didn't file this little thing again and, um, and click on that. But I did because it was quite a bit. And, um... So, because I thought it would be better to order all from, like, one company, right? <laughs> and, but maybe not. And, um, well, now it's that little loop thing's just going to have to show. Okay. So, where's their bird going to go? It can go right there. It can go up here. 
It's not really about the birds. It's about, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I did not realize I was doing everything out of frame. <laughs> My bad. Um, I'll tell you what, let me get, hmm, no, I don't know. Almost, I don't like those big flowers. Maybe if we just use one little one here and there. Maybe one there. And one there. No, one there. We could cover up that little birdhouse thing with that. A little bit. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, now I really will get some glue. Um... And rid of the glue booger. Go away, glue booger. Um, I don't know what I was saying now. Do that all the time. Alright, bam. No, I was just kidding. Um, <laughs> so, if you back to the magnet thing for a second, um, if you do order magnets. I used to order from Elizabeth Crafts. And I do like those. I was just looking for something just a smidge cheaper if possible. Um, but let me know if you do and where you might get it from if you do. Should I set the bird up here watching the bee maybe or I don't know. Hmm. I have these little leaves and I thought I could 3D it, you know. But I don't really think it needs that. Like I was going to do it. I don't mm, I don't think so. So I'm going to put those back. <laughs> um, hmm. I do think I like the bird there, but it should be a bee over on that side. I guess the bird's going to go down here right near the birdhouse. Oh gosh, my neighbor's got a new dog, y'all. It's a huge, huge pit bull. I don't know if it's like mixed with something else because most pits aren't quite that large, but um, it's got a ferocious bark, which that doesn't bother me a bit because it's going to be a big old baby. I just know it. I want to go over there and like play with it, but at the same time, I'm afraid that it will like eat my dogs here in the future. And um, I put like a very tall fence on the back side just because it really needed it. Um, long story with the last neighbors trying to like I took care of all their animals and it was crazy but um, anyway uh, I don't want the, their dog to hurt my dog so I don't really want to get friendly with it you know but I'm dying to at the same time and as I was feeding them and things tonight, it was like, woof, 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 woof. And I was like, yeah, it's okay, baby, and whatever. But I couldn't really see it, actually. I saw it earlier today. But, um, but I don't know. Like, should I make friends with it? Or, I don't know. They're, they're not going to take care of it. They're not even going to watch it. It's going to be out of the yard everywhere. And the my fence in the front is lower because you don't want a giant, like, eight foot fence or something up there but I don't know we might have to I guess to protect the babies but it will look horrible you know but I don't know but like I said what do you guys think should I I personally that's probably just my thing is I just want to go just I like I literally probably pet every dog I see and you know it's just it works for me but um can't really resist, you know, but, um, I don't want, I don't want to, you know, make it, like, think about over here more than it needs to, necessarily, because of my dogs, but, and they're getting older, and I don't want them to have any stress or anything, it already stresses them out when my aunt's dogs come down, and I play with them, they cry, and, go on and it's so beautiful and I have to quit so all right so life is sweeter and then we're gonna do a little bit more to that I think
Side, I'm gonna put because of you. I could totally send this one to any of you guys because y'all do sweeten up my life, a little old life. Um, anyway, but y'all do. You add some flavor to my life, so I appreciate that. Okay. B. Sorry, y'all. I'm kind of in a low, not low mood, just, I feel like you probably can't even hear this because I'm just talking to, I feel like I'm talking to myself on this one. I'm just talking low. So I apologize if you can't really hear me too well, but I'm thinking of y'all, but talking to me. Okay. So I do like that. so I have a blank something to sort of look at. <laughs> what else can I add, y'all? There are little tiny, let me show you, these little tiny bees that I could add. I could add a bee trill from this other stamp set. That might be a little bit too long of a bee trill, I don't know. Get a stamp block here. Ink from last time, apparently. <laughs> okay, so let's just stamp like a little tiny. Nah, let's just start off with trying to stamp a B. Let's just do that. What y'all? Which bee looks better to you guys? Let's do that bee. So he can be facing the bird. He is friends with the bird. I can't even see it, so I'm gonna have to stamp it out first to even see which way he's going. Well, it's not that way. You don't want to get to the end of the card and basically ruin it, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, he has stamped out okay. Um, I guess I'm not going to do a little zoomy tail thing, but, but you could, and I wonder, should I stamp one up there too? Let's stamp one more. Oops. <laughs> I'm inking with the wrong thing. Ugh. Yuck. Okay. I think I better quit while I'm ahead. Because you know how sometimes when you keep playing with it, keep messing with it, it just kind of does its own thing. And it makes it worse. Alright, so I'm going to squeeze this a little bit. Get it all nice and juicy. Little just wink of Stella. Pretty much everything. Or everything that's colored anyway. So the bees and the hive. Choo choo choo. Okay. So we are basically done. As soon as the glitter is done. I'm going to try to do another one of these since I have that cut out. And then we're good. I think I'm going to chill after that. But I do think that's pretty cute. So what do y'all think about that? Alright. So I will talk to y'all later. And happy bead day.